Let's take a look at nutrition in animals 3. Digestive system. Digestion is the chemical breakdown of large, insoluble and indiffusible food molecules into smaller, soluble and diffusible, diffusible ones with the help of enzyme. So how to remember this long sentence? Very, very easy. So you just remember large, the opposite is small. Insoluble, the opposite is soluble. Indiffusible, the opposite is diffusible. So your job is to remember this three. Large, insoluble and indiffusible. Subsequently, you just write down the opposite of these three points. Very simple. Okay, next. Digestive canal or elementary canal is the principal part of the digestive system. In other words, digestive or elementary canal is the main part in our body that you can see, you can hold, you can actually, is a form of physical part of digestive system. Let's take a look at the elementary canal. The elementary canal begins at the mouth, ends at the anus. Okay, there's an average length of roughly 10 meter from the mouth all the way to the anus. Let's take a look at each and every part. The first part here is your mouth. The mouth contains salivary gland. Salivary gland will secrete saliva, which contains salivary amylase. Then subsequently is esophagus, mouth. Food will enter the mouth first, then it will enter the esophagus. Then subsequently, it will drop down to the stomach, stomach over here. And then subsequently, it will move to the duodenum. Duodenum is the first part of small intestine. So in other words, if I can write the small intestine out, yeah. the small intestine, there are three parts of small intestine. Part 1, part 2, and part 3. Part 1 is your duodenum. You already see the here. You can see from here. Number 3 is your ileum. Here, you can see here. And there is one part which is not labeled jejunum. That is the second part. So that will be your three parts of small intestine. Okay, so food will enter the first part of small intestine, duodenum, then subsequently it will enter the jejunum before it enters the ileum. So once it leaves the small intestine, it will enter the large intestine. The first bulge, this bulge over here, is called the cecum. Attached to the cecum is the appendix. Appendix don't really have any function anymore. It is there. It is there just hanging around, not doing anything. Okay, Because as human evolve, we do not really need appendix anymore. Okay, So it is now not doing any work. Okay, Just hanging there. And sometimes it causes us more trouble than benefit us. It causes appendicitis, which is inflammation of appendix. This is when you experience a severe fangs of pain near your abdomen over here. Okay, which is your right side of right bottom right of your stomach. Okay, that is appendix. You have to quickly rush yourself to hospital with the help of ambulance or taxi or maybe your dad fetch you. You have to do that pretty, pretty immediately and urgently because if appendix were to burst, your life will fly together with it. Okay? So there's the cecum. Then we have the colon all the way down here. Then this part here, let me... Shift this a bit. This part here is the rectum. This part here is the rectum. And this part here is the anus. Okay? So, in other words, we have large intestine. Large intestine is made up of number one, 
your cecum. Appendix is attached to the cecum. Then we have colon and we have rectum. Oops, sorry. Rectum. Okay. So these are the three parts of large intestine. These are the three parts of small intestine. So we have already taken a look at the overall of the elementary, elementary canal. So before we really go into elementary canal, let me tell you that digestive system is actually made up of elementary canal and something else. Elementary canal, if I can write it over here. And this is what we call the accessory organs. So what are the accessory organs? So if you can recall, the elementary canal that I mentioned earlier, food actually passes through it. Food passes through the mouth, to the esophagus, to the stomach, and then drop to the duodenum, and then go all the way through the small intestine to the large intestine, and then finally out into the anus. So food actually passes through it. But we have region that are part of digestive system where food doesn't pass through them. So what are they? We have pancreas. Pancreas is very important, okay? But food doesn't pass through it. So it is not part of elementary canal. And then we have liver and also gallbladder. These three are part of digestive system because they secrete something that help digestion. Okay? Um, but they are not elementary canal because food doesn't pass through them. Okay? We call them accessory organ. Okay, they are not essential. They are not like they are not essential like your shirt or trousers or skirt. They are just accessories, you know, like earrings, bracelet, watch. You can go out to the public without your watch, without your earrings, without your rings, for example. But you cannot go out without your shirt or skirt. Okay, can. Mm. So they are known as accessory organs.